It's Powerboat Nation at the Key West Poker Run in Key West. And we are very privileged and honored to have a uh, pretty distinguished group of people with us tonight. We've got Mr. Bill Piper Jr., Mr. Peter Lenton from Skater, and Mr. Chris Bradley from uh, Austin, Texas. And the news is that we are going to announce, or actually they're going to announce, a great new project that's going to revolve around the Platinum 388 Skaters. Is that right? Yeah. And we're going to have how many builds? Three. Three builds. So Bill, can you tell us about these new builds? Yeah, um, we're working on three new boats. Uh, the first one that we're going to be doing is for Kelly Sills. Uh, Kelly's out of uh, Louisiana, out of Baton Rouge, and it should be the Miami Boat Show boat. Um, yeah. Oh, that's great. Hey, what power is going to go in Kelly's boat? Kelly's boat's going to have 1100 Mercs, number six drives. Outstanding. And is there any special thing about that particular layup or fabrication that's going to be uniquely different than the rest of them? Um, that'd probably be more of a question for Pete, but we definitely plan on uh, component-wise doing some different components um, with each of the boats and um, giving them their own little personal touch. Personal touch. Chris, can we talk about Kelly Sills real quick? <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> because, okay, you and I have done some boating together. Absolutely. And some boating yeah. history together. And we talked about which boat you should get and how you should get there. And we took a little bit of a, 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 a progression and you bought Kelly Sills' old boat. I did. Which is a 40 Nortec Roadster. Yes, sir. And now what are you going to build? A 388 scale. With what kind of power? So it's going to be Chief Power. And we're not set on quite the horsepower yet but it's going to be significant. 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 So now should we ask Bill uh, what his boat's going to be like and what kind of power it's going to be in? and just add 100 horsepower to his number <laughs> and that's the power we're going to <laughs> So, Mr. Piper. Uh, I mean, right now, Tommy and I are working on a couple new things. Um, after we get done with Key West Boat and Run, we're going to start playing with a couple new motor setups. And um, we'll see what that leads to over the next few months. And that'll probably pave the way for Chris also. Okay, so they'll be somewhat similar, possibly. Yes, sir. The two, the two boats will have pretty much the same platform as far as the motor goes. And it'll really come down to you know, how much power Chris wants out of that day. And, okay. And, you know, we'll go from there. Fair enough. Peter, are all the laminates, all the boats going to be pretty much the same? No. 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 Can you tell us what might be different? Uh, well, basically, Bill's getting a... Uh, one type of boat, and of course Chris has asked me to uh, build him a faster boat. That's right. So I've got to do that, obviously. But no, I uh, Bill's basically got a race layout, a couple of different things in the boat as far as lamination and schedule, uh, because of the way he runs the boat and how much he uses the boat. We give him a little extra like, fuel capacity. Okay. Lamination different. The bottom's a little different, not much. Um, of course, Chris is going to be very similar to that. Both guys got to decide on the profile, but uh, after talking to both of them, I have a pretty good idea of what they both enjoy and what they both like. And what you know, everything is a compromise in the boat uh, building business. Yeah. You can have a tall size or low size or whatever, but uh, uh, they're mainly interested in uh, high quality speeds, comfort, endurance, rough water handling. Uh, Mainly, uh, really what the, everyone's after today is to be able to complete a poker run without a problem. And complete at a high rate of speed, high average speed without the breakdowns. And uh, I think the Skater 388 is a great boat for that because really it's not stressed at all uh, when you put, you know, 1,500 horsepower in the thing. It's, it only takes 1,000 horsepower to cruise it or push it. Consequently, the motor lasts a long time, and you get great fuel mileage and all that good stuff. But when the time comes when there's two guys facing off against each other, <laughs> and, you know, then you got the uh, you got the added ability to you know nail it and get some big numbers. And then of course it's up to the uh, uh, you know who's going to back off first because honestly the numbers are ridiculous. Speed top speed numbers are beyond. Uh, uh, beyond what most people want to want to go, right? 180, 90 miles an hour, even 200 is just around the corner. And, and, you know, a possibility, easy possibility. No, I, I, 
course I know that, I believe you. You struck on two things that I'd like to expand on a little bit. One is the 388 itself. And no other person, not even arguably, has more time and experience in a 388 than Bill Piper, probably, right? Or close to it, at least in a recreational I, 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 sense? I, I would say probably, uh, you know, it's hearsay. I can believe what he said. Yeah. Uh, based on the number of uh, uh, superchargers that he's broken, I would imagine he's got a lot of time in it. Right. But what I'm really, no, I understand, but what I'm really trying to chime in on is, is the behavior of the boat and how well mannered the boat is and how efficient it is and how that how great that design is. Bill, you've been through a host of watercraft. Right. And we we waste a bunch of time going down that whole hierarchy well, not hierarchy, but list of boats that you've owned. Right. And you are stuck and dedicated with the 380 skater. Right. How I mean, come? Pound for pound, I don't think this boat built can run with it. Uh, the efficiency of the boat, the handling characteristics. You know, I, I've had people tell me that they're smaller boats, they're lake boats, they're this and they're that. And I've, I've run in the ocean and the boats, the boat can run with a 50 footer yeah. on any given day in rough water. It's just a great all around uh, handling boat. It's bred for offshore racing and, and, and it shows that in the way that it runs and it handles it. The boat doesn't pour this or hop like most cats do, and it's just a very efficient, you know, running call that you, you feel comfortable in. It's, it's not a loose boat, it's just a very well-rounded, uh, tight running boat. Absolutely, couldn't agree more. I've had the privilege of assisting some sea trials on your boat, and it's right. unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. But Chris, is top speed really the thing for you? Uh, you know, top speed is nice. Uh, I'm certainly not chasing some magic number up there. Uh, for me, it's, I would say, more about the punch, the acceleration. The mid acceleration will say 80 to 120 to 125. It's where I spend a lot of time boating. and It's nice to be in a boat, to have an expensive time with bills and all that. But when you get in the throttles, the boat will actually sit you back like a car in the seat. It, it's not like a train that has to build speed slowly. It, it's really a, a dynamic, exciting, exhilarating ride. So, yeah, and the behavior of the boat, right? Uh, the attitude's amazing. Um, Bill approached me a few months ago and said, hey, and I talked to you about it, I'm thinking about doing this deal. And I said, well, you know, I just put some additional horsepower in my boat. And, I said, you know, I'm kind of okay where I'm at. He said, let me know. And I rode in his, drove his. Then my wife spent some time in his. And from that point on, I was like, all right, I'm all in. You know, so is it fair to say that, that uh, your wife, Angela, is the one that sealed the deal? Or is that That's, a far stretch? That was an expensive boat ride. She took the <laughs> bill that day. <laughs> so, yes. All right, well, I can't thank you guys enough for your time, but before we get up and get out of here, we've already said that Kelly's boat's gonna have mercury power, and you guys are gonna have cheap power, right? So if we can, bring Tommy Hosletter in here from uh, Cheap Power, and uh, let Tommy tell us a little bit about the uniquenesses of his build. Hey, we got uh, Tommy Hosletter from Cheap Performance, builder of uh, high-performance marine engines, both supercharged, turbocharged, and naturally aspirated, right out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Welcome, Tommy. Thank you, thank you. It's good to be here. It's great to be involved with this project. And you're building the power for these guys. Can you tell we us are. a little bit about it? We're going to do the next generation of uh, turbocharged, supercharged, and of course with our uh, black competition engine management system involved with that. And, uh, it's going to be a great project to work with. Outstanding. Um, completion times. When will we see one of the first motors on the dyno in your shop? You're going to see the early part of this year. Okay. Yep. Is there anything special or uniquely different about these builds and from some of the previous stuff you've done for Bill? Well, over time we've learned a lot about uh, uh, designing different engines and, and what's going to involve with that and, and the advent of turbocharging. And uh, we're integrating all that together and it's just going to be a good project. All right. Well, thanks very much. Man. All right. All right, we're back with uh, Chris Bradley and uh, Bill Pyburn Jr. talking about their 388 builds, the new Platinum Edition 388 builds. How did Platinum come to be? What's what's the deal of difference? Well, I think, you know, I, I've been boating, doing power boating now for about 12 years. And since I've really started messing with the catamarans, there's a lot of things that, you know, from testing and just 
over the years that I've learned and I've liked about the boats or the systems that we've worked on in the boats. And you know, I've had a long-standing history with hard maroon e bike performance. Yeah. And a lot of the parts that are on my boats, you know, all come out of their shop. And you know, we do a lot of the work together, prove a lot of things, made things work. And it's not necessarily you know part that every manufacturer runs. And you know, so through this process, you know, we've decided, all right, let's take the boats and put the parts on it, the pieces that have worked well over the years that we know are tried and true. There's no guessing, and make those parts better take them to the you know, next level and do some you know, really nice you know, high performance you know, oriented finishes and you know, integrate them into the new boats. And the, the boats themselves, you know, we're, we're, gonna do, we're gonna have a little different deck design on them. We're gonna have some different stuff done in the interior. Um, rigging wise, both of our boats can rig the Grand X so that, that, that the work product between Grand X and Hard Marine will be hand in hand to get the pieces together to um, complete those boats and make them into the show pieces. That, yeah, the offshore, you know, hot rods that we're looking for. I mean, we're both driving enthusiasts, and that's what we're looking for, something that's fun to drive and enjoyable, but at the same time, it warms. And we're not worried about any kind of car failure or anything else. And that's really, you know, what set me in that, in that direction. And Chris is paying for it. Kelly Silva is excited to do it. And, and that's, you know, where we're starting. Right, so the, kind of like the beauty of this is that you're going to get parts and pieces all put together that's, that are integrated in a fashion and form that they function just as well or better than they look. But if you need something custom that is modified that you can't just get off the shelf, it can be manufactured to fit those needs, right? Correct. Yeah. Correct. And, and, that's, and that's been the goal. I mean, it's to build you know, three boats that are their own creation, sort of. They're, you know, they're not the standard 388, and, and they've got, you know, probably a thousand of hours in a 388. So we're incorporating all that, all my experience into these three boats so that the performance is there, the handling, and all the parts and pieces that have gotten me to that point through those you know, years of testing, it's all brought into one product right now. So how did this guy get so lucky to be able to come in on this deal and benefit from all that? Wrong place, wrong time. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been like a progression, right? I, I don't know when the actual conversation started. Uh, Dustin, maybe, or Cumberland? I mean, Cumberland was definitely when we started talking yeah. about a little more and started making some women right. boat ride. Yeah, got his wife in the boat. And that, that started the snowball effect for it. Yeah, we just took off from there. And also, Bill and I are on the phone a few times a week discussing it. And he was pitching it and talking about it. It was going to be great. And I said, let's do it. I'm excited. Fantastic. Well, hey, we couldn't be more excited about being able to be part of this in the sense of we'll follow the bills, get to go to Douglas, Michigan, take some pictures, right. and hang out, and then ultimately uh, see trial of the boats. And of course, Brand X is going to do the rigging on your guys' boat. Right. So we'll do progressional uh, photos and follow-ons on that whole process, as well as the stuff that's going to come out of Hardin Marine and uh, all the special parts. And then uh, we get to go for the boat ride, right? It will be fun. It will be fun. It's all no, okay, okay, okay. Is the theme of the boat going to be Rainmaker? Uh, to be determined. To be determined. You know, I've got a lot of money invested in hats and shirts <laughs> and all that, so I'd maybe keep that one. So who knows? All right. Pure platinum? It's, it's hard to let go of the pure platinum theme and that name. So yeah, there'll probably be another pure platinum. So the pure platinum, platinum editions, and most probably Rainmaker TV. Probably so, yeah. Outstanding. Now, who's doing the interior? That'll most likely be done in South Florida. Oh, South Florida too. All right, yeah. So most everything, once the boats leave um, from getting painted, they'll head south and they'll be rigged, interior, everything will be done in South Florida. All right, well, we look forward to it. Thanks, guys. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks.